What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 BMW X5, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we're in this one today because this is a crazy quick SUV from BMW. There are some nice changes for the 2023 model year as well. Not only that, you also get three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance with all new BMWs right now. And this is officially the eighth year in a row I will be reviewing the X5. So. I guess that means I'm getting old. I've been doing this for quite a while now. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there are several different trim levels available for the 2023 X5. First one being the S Drive 40i, starting at $61,600, which is a $2,200 price bump from the 2022 model year. Every manufacturer is doing that right now. But X Drive 40i, starting at $63,900. The M50i, which actually is the one we are in today, starting at $85,400. Lastly, the M, starting at $108,900. And so as you can imagine, with all of these trim levels, there are a couple different power plants available for this one as well. First one being a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder. This one is going to belong to the 40i trim levels, 335 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 331 pound feet of torque sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control. That's pretty insane. Zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.3 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 21 in the city, 26 highway for the rear wheel drive, 21 city 25 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel but so then the next engine configuration belonging to the m50i and the one we have today 4.4 liter twin power turbocharged v8 putting out 523 horsepower 5500 rpm 553 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters and launch control yet again zero to 60 time approximately 4.1 seconds that's insane mpg numbers coming in at 16 in the city, 22 in the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so then for the M trim level, the BMW X5M, that was powered by actually the same engine, the 4.4 liter twin power turbo V8, but 600 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque, zero to 63.8 seconds, top speed, 177 miles per hour. That's nuts. MPG numbers 13 in the city, 18 highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so now that we got all of that out of the way, let me go ahead and touch on the drive modes real quick before we do our paddle shifter and acceleration test here. The drive mode are actually located their buttons located directly behind the shifter those drive modes will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity the suspension settings the all-wheel drive system engagement and the exhaust note as well a ton of adjustments with all those driving modes bmw does that very very well so anyways now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's actually see how quickly they are going to react for us here. All right, so while we're sitting at the red light here, before we actually get started, I did want to mention there is a full manual shift mode. All you need to do is simply slide the shifter all the way to the back to the left. It's then going to display what gear you're in up on the digital gauges here. And we'll get more into those amazing digital gauges here a little bit later in the video, but it's going to let you know what gear you're in and uh, we're set up. We're ready to go. All right, we're in sport driving mode, by the way. Go, babe. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, this thing is just so nuts. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. That was, that was nuts. I, I can't get over that. I, I think I'm in love. That was insane. All right, let's get back control to the, let's get back control to this insanely quick SUV. I'm gonna slide the shifter all the way to the right end. Let's do a quick little acceleration test with the X5 having full control here. And let's see how quickly we can get this thing up to speed. Three, two, one, go! Oh! <laughs> Dang, I freaking love this. Oh man, this thing is nuts. Zero to 60 of 4.1. It feels like zero to 60 in like three. When you get something like, I'm just gonna do it again. I'm just smiling, man. When you get something that's a twin turbo V8 and you get all the power sent to all four wheels, you know, when you test out that kind of power in a rear wheel drive Mustang or something like that, like it used to have, you're just spinning, you're slipping all day. But when you send all that power to all four wheels with this incredible all wheel drive system, there's no slipping whatsoever. So it's almost, 
not exactly, but almost like an electric vehicle where you get that instant acceleration because you don't have the slipping. Not the same, obviously, but still a ridiculous amount of acceleration there. Definitely gonna put a smile on your face. That is absolutely amazing. But anyways, let's go ahead and take it out of that sport driving mode because it's always braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes that come standard across the board. I will say though, M Sport brakes with either red or blue calipers are gonna come on the M50i that we have today and also the M and it's gonna be optional for the 40i trim levels. But overall, 60 is your stopping distance. It's going to come in at 119 feet. And I can tell you guys, braking feel is 100% perfectly fine. We're in an SUV, so it feels perfectly fine. Definitely on the firmer side of things here. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a double wishbone type front suspension in the back, lightweight multi-link integral rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, and if you were to go with the M50i or the M, you will get an adaptive M suspension. And so essentially what that is, is it's gonna monitor each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up that suspension during heavy cornering giving you the best of both worlds. So, so far my short test drive here today, ride quality is absolutely incredible. As expected with any adaptive suspension, you're going to get that. So ride quality is 100% on point. As far as steering feel goes, that is brilliant as well. And I even have it in the uh, comfort driving mode right now. It's not even in the sport driving mode. And still you got a heavier feel to the steering. So it's instantly pointing me in the direction that I wanna go. I personally prefer that steering feel. And in a sports car SUV like this thing is, that is definitely what you're gonna want. And again, it is adjustable dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in. So if I were to put it in sport, it is going to create a much heavier steering feel to the steering yet again. So it is adjustable and it feels absolutely amazing. And the 10 and two grips are absolutely mammoth since we have an M50i, it's just gonna be like the M as well. So huge grips, makes you feel better in control in my personal opinion. I feel like I always say that when I review an M car from BMW, but as far as cabin noise goes, we're going 18 miles per hour and it is absolutely perfect. So definitely not gonna have any issues there. And touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. So again, not gonna have any issues there. What gets even better is their second row headrests. They're not even that big. A lot of times with SUVs, you're gonna find massive headrests in the back seats there and they're gonna kind of impede visibility a little bit, but Honestly, they're a lot smaller size for whatever reason with the X5. So that makes your visibility absolutely 100% on point. Rain sensing windshield wipers also come standard on the X5, meaning whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So that's a big win there as well. And there is a head up display that is available through a bunch of different package options. We actually do have that today. So right now I'm looking at my speed and speed limit as well. Safety features are gonna be projected up there on my windshield as well. So that's gonna assist with forward visibility. I will say it's kind of hard to see with sunglasses, but it is crystal clear when I take these things off. So definitely a big fan of that as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023. BMW X5. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 BMW X5 finished in Emitrin Metallic, which by the way is a $1,950 paint option in case you were a fan of our exterior color name. So I always like to mention that, but um, checking out the VIN here real quick, it starts with a five, meaning this one is actually built in the US. I know everyone likes to know that as well, but as always, let's go ahead and start up front on the X5 here. Active kidney front grille with satin aluminum or gloss black surrounds, depending upon which configuration that you go with. And uh, active kidney grill, meaning it is going to open and close the shutters, depending upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time. I caught that on camera last year, but it is hard to catch on camera, but that is a pretty cool little feature there. You do have the front air curtains down there to the bottom corners, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. So aerodynamic feature there. To the sides, this is pretty cool. Icon adaptive full LED headlights coming standard. That is some insane illumination here at night. You do get the automatic feature, of course. You do get automatic high beams as well, meaning when you have your high beams on at night, it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams, and when the vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce them back up to high beams, so that is pretty cool. Of course, LED daytime running lights, but LED fog lights are going to be available depending upon the configuration that you go with. So we obviously don't have those with us here today. BMW laser light technology, is going to come on the M and it is available for other trims as well. And you will find a much more aggressive looking front fascia 
Porsche, if you were to go with one of the M Sport packages for the X40i trims or the M50 that we have today or the M. So that's going to give you that more aggressive look up front with the satin aluminum accents to the corners and the gloss black accents and uh, just an overall better look in my opinion. But toned down front end obviously coming with the X40i and that looks good too. But one of the other things I wanted to mention for, uh, for the M car specifically, this is their 50th anniversary of M. So we have this cool little added logo that is available for an additional $200 and that is to signify that it's the 50th anniversary for the M brand. So that is pretty cool. I like that. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the X5. All right, so but now since we are around to the side of this one, satin aluminum or gloss black roof rails will come standard. We have the gloss black, obviously. Satin aluminum or gloss black window surrounds, yet again, dependent upon the configuration. Rear privacy glass is going to come standard across the board. Another cool thing I wanted to add though, functional air curtains found on the front fenders. A lot of times other manufacturers will add kind of the look on the front fenders, but they won't be functional. But these are actually legit functional air curtains on the front fenders, so I do like that. Take a look at the side mirrors. They are power adjustable, of course. They are heated. They come with LED integrated turn signals. And in our particular case, they are uh, finished in a satin aluminum kind of look. So I like that. And they are power folding, by the way. That comes standard as well. Take a look down at the side skirts. This is going to differ amongst the trim levels. I want to mention this because for the 40i trims, you're going to get some matte black side skirts but if you were to go with the m sport package for the 40i the m50i or the m you're going to get what you're currently looking at right now which is body colored side skirts and fender surrounds otherwise that is going to come in matte black so i did want to emphasize that because i do love the body color look down there let's take a look at the wheel setup 19 inch v spoke alloys coming standard 20 inch alloys for the m sport and m50i 21 inch alloys for the m and there are plenty of different wheel configurations available for this one. And yeah, now that we're at the wheels here, take a look at these massive six piston front calipers here finished in blue. They are M Sport brakes. They look absolutely freaking amazing. But anyways, pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way to the top, body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that, rear window wiper. Of course, you will find LED taillights for some added illumination as expected at this price point, I guess. You got the M50i badging finished in kind of a satin aluminum finish. So I do like that. There is LED license plate lighting as well you got the 50th anniversary bmw badging yet again and bmw has done this with their exhaust for quite a while now and i've always absolutely loved it they integrate it into the rear bumper so integrated dual exhaust outlets finished in kind of a satin chrome satin chrome tips there so i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are around to the back of the X5, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it actually is a hands-free power tailgate for every single trim, every single configuration across the board. So you gotta love that. Cool thing about the tailgate, it's a little bit different than just about all other SUVs out there as well. There's kind of an upper portion and a lower portion when you actually open up that tailgate. So it's a little bit different, but again, hands-free power tailgate, doesn't get better than that. Once opened up, cargo capacity, Behind the third row, if you get the optional third row, comes in at 15 cubic feet. By the way, it's a $2,300 option if you wanted to go that route, but most X5s that you see are not gonna get that, but again, it is available. But behind the second row, it's gonna come in at 33.9 cubic feet with all of your folded 72.3 cubic feet of cargo space. But 40-20-40 split does come standard. So like I said, all the seats do fold down. There is a cargo cover that comes standard back there. There's two LED cargo lights. A lot of times you'll find halogens back there so i liked that velar carpeting coming standard for all trims and configurations so very nice feel to everything back there grocery bag hooks tie down anchors if you were then to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you will find that the cargo floor is actually on a hydraulic mechanism so you don't have to hold it up it just folds up ever so gently on the hydraulic lift there so but there is a spare tire under there as opposed to the fix the flap that's what i was getting at but now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom for the third row if you get it 31.2 inches so not a whole lot but that's actually decent for a third row i will say that so small children might be able to fit back there but second row legroom 
comes in at 37.4 inches for reference. I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders and actually a tablet holder for those second row passengers as well. Rear ventilation comes standard. Rear window sunshades is available for an additional $250. We do have them. I absolutely love that. Four zone climate control is going to come in the M50i and the M and it's a $650 option for the 40i trim. So both rear passengers can set their own temperatures as well. Heated rear seats is going to be optional and phone charging ports can be found on the back side of those front seats. A little bit different configuration than you might be used to seeing on most other SUVs out there. So overall, back seats were plenty comfortable. I like the ambient lighting found on the doors there as well. So to make your way up to the front seat, 16-way power adjustable front seats do come standard with four-way power lumbar and two-way power side bolsters as well. You gotta love that. Heated front seats do come standard. There's actually no more Sensatec upholstery for 2023. It's one of the changes for this particular year. It's actually going to be replaced with a vegan option called Sensafin, which is still kind of a uh, it's kind of a leather at feel, uh, but yeah, just a slightly different material there. Leather seating though, coming with the M50i and the M, it's gonna be optional on the 40i trims. 20-way multi-contour front seats for the M50i and the M. Ventilated front seats for the M50i and the M, optional on the 40i. And massaging front seats are going to be optional, and we do have that option with us here today. So that is pretty darn cool. I've been playing around with that. But anyway, seating was plenty comfortable. Plenty of adjustments can be had with this thing. So definitely on point there. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable. It is leather wrapped. And a heated steering wheel is available for an additional $250. And without a doubt, the thickest 10 and 2 grips in existence right now of every other vehicle out there on the road just because we have the M50i. The M is also going to give you that. And the M Sport package for the 40i trim. So very thick grip there and I absolutely love it. But then let's go ahead and take a look at this startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here actually. Uh, essentially you got all your buttons on one side. You do get the M colors if you go with the M Sport package for the 40i or the M50i or the M. Lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear tailgate. The lock button is going to be the BMW logo in the middle, but it is all keyless entry with a push button start for all trim levels. You actually do get a digital key for all trim levels as well. So that is pretty cool. So I'm just going to put my foot on the brake here and press that glass engine start button. And we have a glass package. So I'll get more into that in a second, but located just to the left of the shifter. And so once started up, you will be greeted with a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster in typical BMW fashion. It looks absolutely amazing. It does adjust slightly as well, dependent upon the drive mode that you put it in. So for example, if you put it in Eco Pro, it's gonna give you a lot of blue hues. If you put it in Comfort, it's gonna kind of give you an orange look. Sport trim level then is going to give you a bunch of red and black hues. So big fan of that. And the navigation is gonna be kind of sandwiched in between everything. So speedometers on your left, tachometers on your right, and you got the navigation in the middle, but it is all adjustable, of course, using the steering wheel mounted controls. And overall, always a fan of digital gauge clusters because they are customizable so i'm a big fan of that but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality because we do have some special stuff here with us here today so panoramic moonroof comes standard but there is an executive package that gives you a sky lounge led roof that we have with us so i'm gonna try to show that to you guys we'll see how this turns out led interior lighting also coming standard universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors found just underneath of the rear view mirror there multicolor ambient lighting a bmw does do ambient lighting very well in this thing so i'm a big fan of that glass controls they go for 650 dollars, and we do have that with us here today so you got the shifter finished in a glass control you got the circular dial to the right of that the engine start button also finished in glass as well so overall you got a ton of glass controls and they look absolutely amazing i know volvo does that as well so that is pretty dark i'm a big fan but anyways wireless phone charger is now available that is new for 2023 and that comes with the premium package so i did want to mention that and overall i think everyone knows uh interior quality is absolutely on point we have an anthracite headliner which is optional so it's extremely soft feel to it so i'm a big fan of that as well we got a bowers and wilkins sound system we'll get to that in a second but the speaker covers are finished in aluminum they are such high quality we got matte wood trim found just above the passenger side glove box as well as on the doors just in front of the shifter you have the wireless phone charger dual cup holders 12 volt power outlet usb charging port you got uh all the glass controls of course and just behind the shifter you have a decent amount of space within that center armrest and there's actually a phone charging port in there as well a lot of contrast stitching so it doesn't get much better than the interior quality here 
in the X5 without a doubt. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. You will find a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display that comes standard. So it is touchscreen. It is also voice activated. You can use the circular dial in buttons and there is gesture control available then as well. But Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation system, of course, also coming standard. Vehicle driving statistics you can check out up there as well. There is something called experience modes, which I'm always a big fan of. So you can kind of, uh, it allows you to adjust everything. Another cool thing I noticed is uh, when you're adjusting things on this infotainment screen, whenever there's an option where the vehicle pops up, it's gonna be finished in the color that you actually get on the exterior color of this vehicle. So for example, even when I put it in reverse, you have the kind of maroon color of our exterior, our, our, of our particular vehicle showing up on that 360 degree camera. So everything is finished in the exterior color that you get. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Usually they just use like a stock image. Uh, it's usually like silver or something, but BMW went above and beyond with that. So I am a huge fan of that actually. And so, but then of course you can also check out your radio information up there. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there are a few of them. You have the 10 speaker hi-fi sound system with 205 watts that comes standard. There's also a 16 speaker Harman Kardon sound system available and our Bowers and Wilkins sound system. It goes for $3,400. And I will say before we test this out, Bowers and Wilkins is my favorite brand of sound systems. I remember testing a Volvo S90 a while ago. Uh, with like 2000 watts in it and it was absolutely amazing so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out our bowers and wilkins sound system that we have with us here today yeah it, honestly it doesn't get much better than that plenty of clarity the clarity was amazing actually bass was definitely on point as well so you're not going to be disappointed with that Bowers and Wilkins sound system. I'll just say that. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the X5 in reverse, like I was just mentioning, you do, of course, have a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Surround view monitor is going to be optional. And when you do get that surround view monitor, it's going to be finished. The vehicle is going to be finished in the exterior color of the X5 that you actually end up getting, which you typically don't see in other manufacturers. So I was a huge fan of that. But anyways, as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, forward collision warning, active blind spot detection, lane departure warning, speed limit recognition, front and rear parking sensors. And then there is also a parking assistance package, it goes for $800 and then a driver assistance professional package that goes for $1,700. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, I've tested the 40i trims before every engine configuration in the x5 is ridiculously quick honestly the 40i trims are 100 perfectly fine as well every engine option is going to get you up to speed in what feels like absolutely nothing so it's absolutely insane but great ride quality as well wonderful ambient lighting beautiful interior quality i love the glass finishes and the anthracite headliner so definitely on point there incredible sound system with this bowers and wilkins i'll also say that the only thing I could think of is just like Mercedes-Benz, man, like there's so many options with BMW and this thing can get expensive pretty darn quick. So I guess it depends on how much money you got. If you got the money, yeah, this is definitely on point. This is definitely where it's at. So I'll just put it that way, but there are plenty of options. So that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Mm. Yeah, it smells nice in here. It smells nice.